With the metallic slam, the number door behind them swung shut. Unless they could find a device that would deactivate the detonators on their wrists, they would not be leaving the hallway. Hey, what's the? where's the dead? The fear and urgency in Seven's face reflected what all three of them felt. Junpei spun around, searching desperately for the dead. He found it easily enough. It was on the wall, next to the closed door, labeled 5. Found it, right here. As he yelled, he struck the scanner with his hand. The other two scrambled to follow suit. As soon as they finished, Snake threw the lever down. Phew, well, looks like it stopped. As he spoke, Junpei wiped the sweat from his forehead with a trembling hand. Goddamn things and give me a heart attack. A muscle stood out in Seven's neck, and the corners of his mouth were twitching. Oh, wrong person. Uh, that boy, are you alright? Are you guys okay? They could hear anxious voices muffled but distant from the other side of the door. Yeah, we're fine. The dead natives have been deactivated. They heard relieved sighs, and even though the door, the three men could feel the tension disperse. Alright, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. They heard footsteps moving away, and before long, they were alone again. Junpei looked around. The hallway hit a dead end 20 or 30 feet from where they stood. A thick iron wall blocked their way. Try as they might to force it, the wall refused to move. To the left, however, was a wooden door that looked positively inviting by comparison. In the middle of it was a plaque that read first class. A first class cabin, huh? Well, it seems like it. Let's have a look then, shall we? Without hesitation, Snake opened the door and stepped inside. Seven followed closely behind him. Junpei followed, moved to follow them as well, but he stopped just short of the threshold and looked back, not knowing why. Lying in the small hallway was a man's body, or at least what was left of it. He tried hard to avoid looking at the grisly scene, but it just wouldn't leave his mind. What had once been a man's internal organs now looked like so much vomit. As though something had chewed up and spit out the better parts of his torso. It was hideous, but worse still, it was cruel. It was hard to believe the thing on the floor had once been human. The black pool of thick blood. The lumps of glistening flesh spread out across the floor. The awkward, twisted tangle of shredded intestines. The head wrenched to some grotesque, unnatural position. The man's glasses lay next to his hand. To his head, sorry. The lenses were cracked and the frame bent and distorted, and next to the glasses lay a bracelet and the number 9 still displayed on space. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from the ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship or detects that its wearer's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Ugh. Suddenly, Junpei felt his stomach convulse and a knot of muscle gripped his throat. He clapped his hands over his mouth and ran to the first cabin. Last cabin. Should have grabbed that bracelet, son. The atmosphere changed immediately. The room was gorgeous, and despite the apparent age of the ship, none the worse for wear. He looked around. Seven and Snake were nowhere to be seen. There were two doors on the right side of the room. He opened one on his right and went through. On the other side of the door was a short hallway. He jogged in the hallway, opened the door at the other side, and peeked through. There were, to his right, busy, there, or there they were to his right, busy examining something. He stepped to the door and walked toward them. Oh, what's up? Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? So I would assume. Is there any other way out? We looked around a little. Other than this door, we didn't find anything. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door, yes, we won't be going anywhere. Junpei stepped away from the door and looked around the room. The room they were in looked like a bedroom. He figured the door he'd originally entered was the living room or whatever passed for one on the ship. Alright, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys. Alright, it's fucking time again. Seek a fucking way out.
All right, new puzzle. Score plate. I see, this feels like glass, a rectangular plate of glass. Is there something written on the surface? Yeah, it's a sheet of music with a couple of A notes. Just A's. Yeah, that's it, kind of weird, huh? It took Junpei by surprise. Snake, usually so calm and collected, suddenly began to move. He stared about the room almost frantically, clearly looking for something. No, Junpei thought, not staring. After all, he's blind. Blind or not, Snake was clearly attempting to do something. At last, Junpei could no longer contain his curiosity. Uh, what are you doing? Snake waited a moment before answering. I heard something. Strange. Something strange? Ah, well, never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. I don't wish to toot my own horn, but my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. I notice even the slightest of noises. Right, are you going to tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? <laughs> no such thing would be impossible. However, by listening to the sound... I, I, okay, whatever. <laughs> the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as the sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. Oh yeah, that's right. When Clover fell uh, on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. So that was... Mm, yes, I could hear it happening. In fact, I, could, I can run quite fast, certainly as fast as you. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I'm quite confident that I could defeat them. Junpei was somewhat taken aback by this revelation. You don't believe me, do you? Care to give me a try? I must warn you, you'll no doubt regret it. <laughs> well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's resume our search, shall we? With a small, self-satisfied smile, Snake turned and walked away from Junpei. It's a white desk. Snake is rubbing it. Mm, this is a high-quality desk. Teak, or perhaps mahogany. Well, how can you tell? Oh, I have my ways. the sink's clean. Any water? Nothing's coming out. We've got the faucet all the way, but I can't hear anything. There's a plug at the end of this chain. Let's see if we can pull it out. Whoa, hold up! I was just thinking we might be able to use the water. Use the water? Bath us full of gross, cloudy water. The lights, huh? Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. Testing, testing. Hey, it's great to see you all in here. I just flew in from New York. My boys are in my arms. Boy, are my arms tired. Yes, thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. That's not a mic seven. That's just a shower head. What? What the hell? And there we are in the mirror with a pair, a college kid and a terrifying giant of a man in a beanie, stuck in a cramped bathroom with this beast of a man. What would my parents say? You something wrong, Junpei? You look real sad all of a sudden. Uh, no, nothing. It's the sink. The water doesn't appear to be working. This is some sort of antique desk. Makes sense though, I guess. But the whole room's full of antiques. You can get a nice handful of cash for all the stuff in here. There's a piece of heavy paper folded in half sitting on the table. It's a heavy piece of paper that's been folded in half sitting on the table. It has score printed on the front of it. Score, that's gotta mean musical score. If that's true, then the score we just found was probably in here, at least at some point. Hey Junpei, where are you going? Didn't we come out of that door? No point going back there. Well, that's, there's a locked number door and a dead body or whatever's left of it. Yeah. It's a chair. A chair, huh? There's an iron grate in front of the fireplace. There's something behind it. Oh, it would probably be nice to like fill it with water. Aren't a lot of people these days with real fireplaces and real fires? <laughs> Looks perfect for me. What? Perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. The couch looks a lot more elegant. <laughs> hey, there's something you aren't saying. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> I get it. you're gonna use his face, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. We just gotta fill this thing with water. Oh. 
Alright, it shouldn't be too hard to fill this base up. It's a toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or the tank. There's some toilet paper on the wall here. Doesn't look suspicious. What's this? This isn't a score. Is this a map of the ship? A map? There's a map of the ship here. Yeah. Then I imagine it will prove very helpful. You best hold on to it, Junpei. Okay. fire out. About time, buddy. Let's do it. Here we go. Ah, good job. Another success. That fire didn't stand a chance. Alright, I'll just pull this out now. Don't want to get burned, so let's pull down the sleeves. Score plate. Can we combine this? As Jupe took the plate into his pocket, Seven cried out and stumbled, his balance lost. He threw out a hand and caught the wall in time to steady himself and avoid the floor, but his face was flushed and he looked startled. Hey, Seven, what the hell was that? You alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just felt uh, a little dizzy, that's all. Seven rubbed a couple of fingers across his brow and then shook his head, as if to clear it. What the hell's wrong with me? First memory loss, now I'm getting dizzy for no reason. Oh yeah, that's right, this guy fucking, like, is shady. Memory loss? Jimbe couldn't hide the surprise in his voice. Seven, for his part, seemed unconcerned. Right, I guess I haven't told you, have I? I told the rest of him, but that must have been before he showed up. Well, the long and short of it is that I don't remember Jack from before I woke up here. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? I guess that's true. Jubei paused for a moment and stared at Seven. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. If you really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? Well, sure, I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Deck, but that was a while ago. I had some time to get used to it. After all, I figured it wasn't really worth the trouble worrying about it. After all, why worry about something that I can't change? Well, people don't stay, usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. I figure it'll work out self, itself out eventually. That's, that's it? That's it. Alright, enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. Seven gave Junpei a look. The younger man wasn't sure how to interpret and turned to walk away. Somehow, though, Junpei didn't find his reassurances very reassuring. Huh. It's totally a table with the mirror. I guess you know that sort of thing is known as a vanity. Were you aware of that, Junpei? Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. As such, you could say that every day when a woman looks into one of these, she's staring at her own conceit and narcissism. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? Oh, this game. Might as well put the music I found on it. I'll put the ceramic plate on the bottom. And the glass plates on top. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Well, I put them all on top of each other, but they look odd. It doesn't really look like a song. Hmm? Then in all likelihood, we haven't found them all. We need to find more glass plates. Okay. A window. There's an iron plate nailed to it. Piano, there's something amiss with the keys. You mean it's out of tune or something? No, no, not that. It's properly tuned, just... Well, the sounds are clearly purposefully different. 
The C doesn't yield the C, but rather a different note entirely. The same goes for the D keys. They play some other note. Why do you think it's like that? Isn't it painfully obvious? Zero modified it in some way. This piano, you see, is part of one of the puzzles Zero has set for us. Perhaps if we play the keys in the correct order, something will happen. Yep. Alright. with the canopy. I've seen like some things like this in movies and stuff, but never in real life. True, you don't see too many of these these days. I can't see the details, obviously, but I imagine it's one of those princess breads Clover is so fond of. Clover wants one of these? Yes. She wants a princess bed. Didn't I say that? You think it doesn't suit her? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Ah, Junpei. Judge her by appearances, will you? And where she, when, where you should not. <laughs> Well, every girl wants a princess bed, man. If I was a girl, I'd probably want a princess bed, too. Alright, so we need... Maybe we can pull the drain now? Man, this water's dirty. Can't see more than four inches or so. Can't see anything down there. Hmm, do you think? Think what? There's a plug on the end of this chain. Alright, why don't we just drain this water? Yeah, good plan. Alright, where's that thing? A good tug ought to get this out. Huh? There it is. Hey. What? There must be some more of them hidden somewhere. I'm missing another one still? Fuck. Oh, I see. A, D. Fuck. I hope that doesn't mean there's two more I'm missing. Why can't we grab that? It looks important. Didn't open this before. Well, shoot. Looks like there's nothing in it. Dang, nothing in here. Alright. Oh, there we go. G. Oh, maybe that's it? What? Are we still fucking missing them? Fuck. Maybe we can, like, combine them? Fuck. Still missing another one. God damn it. Where the fuck is it? Oh god. The safe is locked. It's one of those dialogues. Doesn't have a key, we just need to get the dial in the right place and it'll open. Did you find anything, Junpei? Nope. How about you, Snake? I also found nothing. Oh, there we go. Okay, that sounds like all of them, hopefully. Unfortunately, there's nothing inside. Okay, hopefully that's all of it. Here we go. Just gotta put the ceramic plates in the bottom and then stack the glass plates on top. Alright, good. Sweet, now I can play the music. Junpei would be so kind as to play the piano. I'm unable to, you see. I'm sure I needn't tell you, but the keys on this piano are not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. You must listen carefully to determine which keys to strike. Do you understand? What? Alright, let's give this a shot. Dude, I. Uh, 
Uh, so, I mean... <laughs> Fuck, wait. What? Oh, I, I'm, I'm... Okay, well, let's, 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 like, let's just guess. No? How about this one? What? Oh. How about this? No. Did I, did I miss one? Not the. Did I try this one? What? The flats don't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, these don't work. What? What? Yeah, I swear I tried every. What the fuck? Does this. Why is there. What the fuck? Wait, I pressed that before. What the fuck? I I fucking Oh wait, no I didn't. Oh, wow, I didn't. Uh, I don't know. Fuck, where was it? Fuck, where was it? Oh, there we go. What? What? Oh, I'm fucking blind. Uh, there we go. Uh, is it this one? I think. Man, I'm fucking bad at this. Uh, fuck. Which one was that one again? Uh. I think it was this one? Okay. <laughs> okay. And we're done. Music is not my forte. Wait, what was that noise? <laughs> Junpei, we did it. Looks like it worked. I heard something unlock over by the exit. Let's go. Good plan. Stand, bow, be seated. Yeah, that's so. the The tune that's played is like the fucking school chime. I guess he hasn't said that. I guess Snake thinks it's funny. <laughs> yes, I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine that's what Zero was thinking of. However, no, no, Zero most certainly meant to suggest Westminster, not Middle School. Oh, Westminster. The palace in London that plays host of these days is the Houses of Parliament. You've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? Big Ben plays that very collection of notes on the hour. London, the capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately. Alright, well, that was a funny puzzle, I guess. Alright, let's go. That was pretty interesting. The doors were pretty confusing in that in that room, actually. Like, I kept thinking I had actually explored all the rooms, and I didn't. He came out of the door and into a long, straight hallway. He paused for a moment and turned around to look behind him. Seven was bent over, apparently doing something to the door. What's he up to? Junpei had spoken more or less to himself, but apparently Seven had heard anyways. The larger man stood up and turned to Junpei. I was just putting one of those plates in there. You gotta keep the door from locking again. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? Now, why would you want to come back here? Snake was a reason was a reasonable one. Seven thought about it for a moment before he answered. <laughs> I might like to play a little piano. <laughs> piano? Come on, let's get moving. <laughs> oh yeah, what happened to that dialogue? Oh no no no, we opened it. Or did we open it? Fuck. Without waiting for an answer, Seven started off down the hallway. Snake shrugged, sighed, and quietly followed Seven. That's a lie, Junpei thought to himself. 
He had difficulty enough believing Seven could play the piano, but even if he could, the piano they just left was largely useless. The keyboard completely scrambled. If Seven wanted to come back, it was unlikely he intended to do so in order to play the piano. Fuck. Is that save important to open? God damn it. But if that was the case, why would he want to leave the door unlocked? Junpei frowned, took one last look at the door, then walked away towards the companions. After some time in the hallway, they emerged in a larger, more open area. A large metal grate, like the door of a jail, divided it in half. They shook it for a while, but they had expected it did not move. Beyond the grate were two elevators. From so far away, away, however, it was difficult to tell if they were still operating. On the left side of the grate was a door. Unfortunately, however, it was locked and refused to open. Junpei took a moment to examine the left side of the room. Next to the wall, next to the wall was a set of stairs leading downward. Standing guard at the top of the stairway was a large iron gate. Foreboding as it was, the gate seemed to be the sort that could be opened unlike the middle grate that bisected the room. With luck, Junpei hoped he might be able to get it open. The female symbol, he wasn't quite sure what to make of it. Snake, naturally, was somewhat more sure. Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you recall the similar symbol near the large central stairway? They reference many of the solar bodies. Sun. Saturn. Earth. So as you can see, this one is likely not the women's symbol, but a Venus symbol. So I assume. While they had been discussing the symbols, Junpei now realized Seven had slipped away. His absence now felt Snake and Junpei turned to look for their missing companion. There. Seven had left them to head down to the hallway extending to the right of the stairs. Junpei grabbed Snake to lead him in the right direction. They both headed off after Snake. Seven. Before long, the three of them stood in front of a door. It was a French door. Junpei tested the door and realized that, unlike so many others that they'd encountered, it was unlocked. Almost as though he was afraid it would suddenly lock itself, Junpei threw the door open. He stepped inside. It took only a moment for Junpei to take in his new surroundings. Is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Before Junpei could comment further, a noise from behind them made him turn. Snake was shaking the door they'd just come through. As Seven and Junpei watched, he threw up his hands in frustration and then kicked the door for good measure. It looked as though they were once again locked in. There was no reason to panic, however. Even if the door had been left open, there was nowhere for them to go back there. They would have to find another way out. All right, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling, let's go. Quickly now. Spurred to action by Seven's words, Junpei and Snake began to examine the room. Seek a way out of my ever-increasingly dry throat. I need to get a drink, I'll be right back. Alright. Resuming now. Alright, so we're stuck in this room here. Gotta find our way out again. Hey Junpei, I just found this on the shelf. Huh? A playing card? God damn it. Here we go again, boys. Oh, would you look at that? Someone left a bottle of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Look, 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 look. Ah, well, that hits the spot. Feels like my throat's burning. Damn, he really drank it. We don't even know how long it's been there. Junpei found this on the counter. It feels like a playing card. Okay. Suddenly, Seven began to speak. Ah, oh, Baccarat. You ever played Junpei? Junpei shook his head. He'd barely even heard of the game. Alright then, how about I explain the rules to you for a bit? See, Baccarat's kind of an unusual game. 
You got the banker and the player, and the whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins all depends on their hands. The way Chan works is different from other games too. You see, you take the number from the ones places after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to 9 wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. And that's it. That's the explanation, got it? Well, actually, there's a lot more to it, strategy, details, that sort of stuff, but what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have, and the strongest hand is a 9, and the weakest hand is a 0. You just ignore the number in the 10 spot. You get it? He hadn't... <laughs> He hadn't even he hadn't been asked for it, but Seven's explanation, rush though it had been, was helpful. Although he had only half understood most of it, Junpei now felt as though he had some grasp of how victory was won in Bakrat. However, Junpei had no way of knowing if the puzzle on the Bakrat table in front of them made use of those rules, and if it did, in what way. No problem, he told himself. He would simply have to try everything he could think of. Feeling more confident, if only slightly, Junpei approached the Bakrat table. Hey Seven, are we really supposed to play Baccarat? It's a Baccarat table. What the hell else would we do? Now stop worrying about it. It's really simple. What's the opponent's hand? Well, there's an 8 in that glass case. Alright, then that's your opponent's number. If that's the case, what three cards do we need to get that number? Three cards? There are a couple indentations with white lines around them, right? Those mean we gotta put down three cards. So, place three cards here and defeat the opponent's 8. That's why I guess I've gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Something tells me that these aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give it a shot. Before I start, I better make sure I've got the rules straight. There are three empty indentations, I just gotta pick a card and play it. I figure if I put them in the right spot, something ought to happen. Alright, let's give this a try. But we only have like two fucking spots, we're just gonna like lose. I don't even have three fucking cards yet. Yeah, infin infinite black ace. I'm pretty sure he's just like, oh, I have snake. Let me just fucking touch everything. I found a playing card. That square table looks like a mahjong table. Oh, sick. Do you play mahjong seven? Uh, maybe. I don't remember exactly, but I do remember a couple hands and some of the rules. So I figured I must have played it at some point. Excellent, once we vacated this vessel, I should play. I should like to play a game with you. Can you, uh, play? So as long as you tell me which tiles I'm eliminating, yes. I believe I have at least enough skill to defeat an amateur. However, I must ask you to remove the red tiles when we play. <laughs> That's pretty hype. Check out that stained glass. How beautiful. What? Huh? Stained glass is colored pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. I can at least discern the basic structure. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, Snake is too, too fucking real. It says one on the plate. So I've got the symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here. A coin slot. What the fuck? Do we have coins? Damn it, this isn't exactly working out the way I expected. It's locked, isn't it? Is there a keyhole? If there is, I can't find it. Well, there must be some way to unlock it. Let's look around a little more, shall we? It says nine. Yeah, it looks like the cover hiding something. If this is the cover, then maybe it opens up. It probably does. Seem. I'm shocked and appalled that guessing at random has not yielded better results. Yeah. Thanks, fucker. <laughs> the Ace of Spades. Alright, what's going on here? There's a weird looking thing floating there. What the fuck is this? Ah! Uh. 
Wait, when those two lights turned on, I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. What was that? I heard something down there. Casino coin. Oh, it's... It's time to gamble, son. Alright, so club, diamond, heart. Uh, maybe that's the order we gotta do some of this shit in. Maybe not this one, maybe this one. No. Oh, they, they none of them have, okay, well. I know, let's do it. There's a slot for coins in the upper left side of the face. Perhaps we should put the coins we have recently acquired in there. Let's go. Right, let's put the coins into that bag. What happened? I heard an odd noise. Oh, uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. I pressed some of the buttons and smacked the machine once or twice, but nothing happened. Oh, looks like the coin got stuck. Oh dear. Great. Let's try this one then. Alright, drop this coin in the coin. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. What makes it so tough, if I might ask? Hitting these reels just right, the timing as well, it's not easy. I don't believe you need to hit them just right, huh? Hold up. Please don't make the same mistake again. That wouldn't be so... Fuck, I already forgot what the order was. Was it club? Club, diamond, heart? Club Heart Diamond. Huh, that's weird. Do you tend to lock us in here? It's not my fault, the coin just got stuck all on its own. Oh boy. Hold up. Uh, okay. Club Diamond Heart. I'm assuming maybe there's an order or something we need to get with that. Let's try this again. Yeah, I'm trying to try again. Can we press... Ah, there we go, yeah. Got it. Yes, and I think I hear something unlocking in there. Impressive, Junpei, but it appears to be unlocked now. There's something akin to a drawer in the bottom part of the machine, yes? There is a pickup drawer for a dividend. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Please don't open it if you would. What is it? Is there something in there? Yeah, a playing card, and this. A key with the Venus symbol on it. Ah, oh, sick. Alright. And he's off. Alright. Alright, here we go. Wait, that doesn't... We're still missing some cards? Oh. There we go. Maybe this is enough. Where's the Baccarat table? Wait, wait, wait. There's another card here? Oh, wow. I didn't even see that fucking card. Alright. Alright, so we just need to make a uh, fucking... And we didn't just need to make a 9, right? So... Right, if I just put down these three cards. Yes, open for me. Right, you did, Junpei. You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. All right, let's take this card. Oh, they're stuck to the table. They won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Okay. 
we we need to no i guess not so i'm just gonna put this in here and see what happens wow Seems to be another device to contend with, yes. There are three slots in this one. Okay. Three slots for cards, and there's a nine right below them. I'm gonna make a nine. Okay, but I think we're missing a card. Yeah, we're missing a card. Fuck. Okay, where the fuck are the cards? That means there's gotta be more lying around here somewhere. Okay. Let's look for the fucking cards. Could they be? Is that a card? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, okay. All the cards we had left in the slots. What happens now? Yes, I did hear something from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. It seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go. All right. All right, let's go. Yeah, freedom. Found it. 